weekend, everyone. Um, excuse the mess here, and excuse my little bitty dog. She's here. She's chasing her tail. Um, it's one of those kinds of days. Um, today, I want to show you uh, a quick and easy way that I get my husband's lunch ready for him every morning uh, to take to work. This is kind of a this is kind of built upon um, a video that I did a few months ago at the beginning of school that I set up for my children. But I've also developed a system for my husband for the things that he likes to take to uh, work to eat. Um, first of all, let me explain a little bit. Um, my husband's a bit of a grazer. He's a snacker. Um, he would prefer to have just a little bit of something um, all day long and uh, as opposed to having a big meal in the middle of the day. So um, I try to give him a, the kinds of foods that he can do either way, whether if he uh, wants to snack all day or if he wants to have a, take a break and have like a, a real lunch, a real meal. Um, I have found that if I don't do this for him, um, he will forget to eat lunch. And then he comes home and he hasn't eaten all day and he's grumpy. And then he eats a bunch of dinner and then doesn't feel well. <laughs> so I try to make him as less, least grumpy as I can. So um, let me start, I guess, with this bag. I make up several packages of different kinds of foods that I store in a gallon size Ziploc bag. And let me stick this over here. Then I put them to, I put his lunches together very, very quickly. What I have here, let's see if you can see here. Yeah, I think so. I have a couple of packages of boiled, hard-boiled eggs. There they are. Um, I have some lunch meat with some sliced um, cheeses. I have a couple of packages of those. Um, I have, this is actually something that I, I haven't done all the time, but this is something that I really find is coming in handy. This is a left leftover steak that we had for dinner last night and um, I've cut it into small pieces and cut some um, little pieces of cheese here and then you send it with a bag of salad and this and I'll show you how I put the whole thing together. Um, I have I usually make up a couple of bags of salad. Now he likes uh, just he, he would prefer just to have iceberg lettuce. Um, he loves that, and he likes to get those bags of salads. I tend to buy heads of lettuce and cut them up myself with the vegetables, but uh, occasionally, you know, you find these on sale, and you might have a couple of days use out of them. So you have some for dinner, and then you have some left over, and this is what I would put in uh, the leftovers is what I would put in the bag, um, and it will last a couple more days, and then I can send it to work for him. And then I just cut up some different vegetables, um, cucumbers, bell peppers, carrots, and celery. And then in this bag, I have just some washed grapes, and I have quite a few of those. Um, typically we do grapes in our house because they last a long time, um, but in the summertime, in spring and summer, I might do some berries, um, he, and we might do some apples in the fall, and just whatever is seasonal, whatever's on sale, and that's what I'll do, but, uh, typically we love grapes, that's a good standard for our house. And then, this is kind of what I showed you before in the back to school video. I have just bags of chips, um, little bags of crackers, can you see? Bags of chips, bags of crackers. 
Um, here's a bag of um, the little portion control bags, and this has a quarter cup of raisins and then a quarter cup of mixed nuts. And I usually have several of these mixed up. This is my last one, though. Um, but I just mix up a whole bunch, of, make up of a whole bunch of these things. And I, I put this bowl on my counter, and then I have usually a couple of bags inside the fridge to hold the other components. Now, the other thing that you need to understand about um, my husband and his lunch is he works downtown in um, our city in Nashville, and um, he'll ride he'll drive downtown and then park his car and then he rides a shuttle bus from uh, the Titans Stadium um, actually to his office. So um, he doesn't like to carry like an extra lunch bag um, or a big big container of anything. Um, and it, usually he will have just his laptop bag and that's it. Um, and he has two different size bags that he carries with him and just depending on um, what his schedule is going to be like during the day that de that determines what bag he's taking so I can't send in many of my uh, Tupperware containers they're all too big for the bag even if I can find something that would fit nicely in a gallon sized bag sometimes that's too big especially if he carries his smaller um, laptop bag so I've really gotten good I think at condensing things and getting as much food as I can into a gallon sized Ziploc bag without it being too bulky uh, so that's that's really important for him and I'm sure there are some other husbands out there like that too and the good thing about this is I make up maybe five or six days worth of these things uh, once a week it doesn't take that long when I go grocery shopping in the next day or so I will uh, take all the chips and while I'm watching TV or something and make up the little chip bags um, and then I'll buy a package of deli ham and a couple different kinds of cheeses and just do them all at once and it takes me you know five or six minutes to do a week's worth um, and then if I get to the point where he's taken other things than these these can go directly in the freezer and then um, when I'm running low on the main protein part of the meal um, I can grab a couple of these out and send them and by the time lunch rolls around this is thawed and then there are some more in the fridge um, and occasionally when I have found the deli meat and the cheeses Real, at a really good price, I'll buy extras and do that, make up these little packages um, specifically for the freezer. And these are great for the kids too because um, they like to sometimes make sandwiches in, um, for midnight snacks. <laughs> uh, you know how teen boys are. Uh, and sometimes they like to take these for lunch. Now, one of the reasons that I, I don't send bread in for uh, Ron's lunch is the bread will get all smashed in the bag and he doesn't like that so if he prefers a sandwich and there are times that he does um, he will stop at Walgreens downtown walk there from his office and get a loaf of bread um, or he will walk over to Subway and get a veggie sandwich and then he has the meat and cheeses to add to it and it doesn't cost any more. So, um, oh, and also for the salads, he'll take a bottle of salad dressing in and put his name on it and just leave it in the fridge. And so, uh, or stop at 
Walgreens or wherever. Um, there's a Walgreens right around, right near his office, so that's why I said that. Um, and sometimes he'll even get um, like loaves of French bread and take with him and leave it at his desk for a few days, and then he'll that'll last him several days. So here's how I do it in the mornings. Everything is, this is sitting on the counter by the refrigerator, and these two bags come out to the table. Um, well, and sometimes I don't even bother doing it at the table. I'll do it right standing by the refrigerator. Then I will take a gallon-sized bag and just decide what I want to send in. And sometimes he'll request things. Um, He'll say, hey, did you say that, save that steak for me? Let me have that. Um, sometimes he'll say, just give me my regular lunch. And I know that that means this. Um, and I do vary these. Um, I mix these up throughout the week. And sometimes instead of the boiled eggs, I might send in a little bag of pickles and olives. He loves those sort of things. Um, so I try to mix it up a little bit. I just don't have all of that here. Um, but I have done that for him in the past. I've sent orange slices instead of grapes. Um, and there are just so many things that you can do. Um, I'll sometimes make homemade granola and I'll include a quarter cup of that in with these, this bag. And he loves that. And if I'm out of raisins, I usually always have dried cranberries or some sort of dried fruit, and so I'll stick that in there, and I just use what I have, and I try to be very creative and try to make sure that he gets enough food to eat, and if I send too much, he leaves it at the office, and he'll eat it sometime during the week. There's I never worry about food going to waste. <laughs> so this morning... Um, I had another package of the steak and cheese, so I'll just duplicate the lunch that I sent for him today. Um, I took the, lunch, the steak and cheese and the salad and a bag of grapes and the bag of raisins and nuts. And his favorite crackers are Wheat Thin, so I sent those. And <laughs> he thinks this is funny. He said, the first time I did this, he said, you sent me a bag of crushed chips. Um, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, I did, but not for him to eat his potato chips. Usually, there are some crushed chips in the bag, uh, either from us handling it too much or being handled too much at the store. So I will put those into smaller bags and these are great salad toppers. Um, and so I like, it's to substitute crout croutons. So I put that in there like that too. And if I had some blue cheese, I might stick that in with the salad, I mean with the, um, the steak and cheese. Um, if I, uh, I did not send this this morning because I actually sent in a bottle of salad dressing and I didn't want to make it too bulky, but, uh, that would be, this would be a perfect opportunity to send in some boiled eggs. And then, let's see if you can see this. And then I just take it and push the air, as much air out as I can. And that's the trick, getting as much air out as you can get. And then this little package fits perfectly in with his laptop. It's not bulky, uh, but it's plenty of food. It's probably too much food. Uh, but as I said, um, he's a snacker and he can have a little bit of this. And if he doesn't eat it all, He'll stick it in the fridge or leave the uh, chips and crackers and these, these things at his desk and he'll have it again the next day or sometime later in the week. And if I'm really feeling ambitious, I might make up several of these gallon-sized bags. 
to have an entire week's worth of lunch. I typically don't do that unless um, I know I'm going to have a lot going on in the mornings. Um, if I have a doctor's appointment or some kind of an appointment early in the morning, I will go ahead and make up a couple. But the reason that I don't make up a lot of these is, number one, my kids like these too. Um, and even Ron will get up in the middle of the night and come get one of these and some crackers and eat this as a snack or eat a salad or grab some boiled eggs. So I want to make sure that they, um, they don't get them out of here because this is a complete lunch and I wouldn't know that parts of it were missing. Um, but this is also great for the kids to take for their lunches to school. Now, typically, if I was going to send this, if they took something like this, they probably would want to have some bread because that would go in their their lunch bag, their insulated lunch bags. And it, But I don't have to worry about them getting those crushed because they have the higher sides and they're um, a little thicker. Um, but with Ron, I really have to just make sure that it's as thin as possible. And I don't have to worry about that with the kids. Um, and then also, my kids love carrot sticks. Out of this, they would probably just eat the carrot sticks. But they also love grapes. And this is, this is something that I can portion control what they're eating. Um, I allow them to have two... Um, snacks a day out of here. Um, they sometimes will take, usually they take one to snack on at school, um, even if they don't, they don't carry their, their whole lunch. Um, they'll grab a bag to snack on while they're on the bus or something. Um, and then they have, a, have one at night. Um, but they can get out of, get things out of here, um, out of any of these bags. So I try to keep the components separate uh, instead of mixing all this up um, because it just gets too confusing. Now don't get out of this bag, get it out of this bag. And then they're just like, what bag? What, what? You fix it for me. Well, that defeats the whole purpose. <laughs> uh, they're old enough that they can um, be a little self-sufficient when it comes to lunch. So I hope this helps. I know that getting these together um, has really helped me in getting um, my prep time for his lunches um, cut down tremendously. So I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, he's leaving in five minutes and I forgot to get his lunch together. I can put this together in two minutes, if that. Doesn't even take that long usually. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you come back. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Fly high, Pooh Bear.